Hey guys, hello. Hey, welcome back, guys. Nice to see you again. Hi, How is good everybody? Evening. Good evening, guys. How was your good evening? How was your vacation? How was your well deserved and long vacation? Did really anybody boring. We was boring? Why? You didn't go out? Yes, we don't we think we didn't go anything. Uh, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> well, you didn't go but, anywhere. That's how you say it. Uh, I didn't go anywhere. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's too bad. All right, remember, guys, uh, turn on your cameras. Okay. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, tell me, how was yours? How was your vacation? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, how was your vacation? Um, my vacation are uh, good. I stay in my house. Who's the uh, Saturday? Uh, I went to the Cerro Verde. To, I went to in, Cerro Verde. Sí, I went to Cerro Verde. Uh -huh. uh, uh, with my family and my friends. Friends. Sí, friends. Oh, nice, nice. I've uh, never been to Cerro Verde. How is it like? Do you like it? Was it cold? Yes, I like it cold. You liked it because it was cold? No, I like hey. places. I like cold places. Yes, uh, the climate. How do you say uh, clima? The weather. Uh, the weather they call is is very nice. It was what? Uh, the. Ay, no sé cómo <laughs> The weather. Uh, was weather the weather was was uh -huh. the weather was uh, uh, for example uh, uh, the experience the experience is very, the experience is very funny 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 okay the experience is very okay. funny why this the Okay, all right, very good. <laughs> thank you, thank you for, for telling me the, 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 the fun story. All right, great. Um, Miriam, hello Miriam, how was, how was your vacation? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Um, I, my vacation, I was at home and I didn't go out. I didn't, I didn't go out uh, and, and we got together with my family and celebrate my mom's, my mom's birthday. And we made uh, a lot of food and we ate cake. Nice, okay. Right. Yes, and, and I, I, I was uh, studying. Mm -hmm. Yes, I listening. Was studying. I was studying uh, to listening and reading too. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. All right, that's great. So, what what were you using for you know to practice listening? <laughs> what? What were you using to you know to practice your listening? Um, I, 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 I was. I quiero ver. <laughs> teacher. No, don't know Spanish. What do you mean, teacher? I know Spanish. <laughs> teacher. I was I was I was watching a, a video a academic American English. Mm -hmm. uh, listening and reading to yes. These okay. videos. 
Okay. Okay. Thank, you, thank you, Saab, for practicing listening. Uh, it's oh. very well. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Very good. Very Cake good. Very is good. Yes. very good. All right. Um, like yeah, I, 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 um, I recently started using an app called Tandem. You know, it's, it's good, you know. I mean, you get to talk to people, but it's not, I mean, you get to practice, but it's not really that. How can you see this? It's not very constant. So you have to get a lot of people. So you have like more constant practice, you know, but it's good. It's good, okay. you know, and I also I am like- a, I am a, I am a good student. Yes, I you're know. You're a good student? <laughs> hey, I like your background. I hadn't know, I hadn't seen that background. Take a look at it. It looks like you're at the cinema. That's crazy. <laughs> That's great, okay. Well, good to see you. Liz, hello, Liz, how are you? How was your vacation? <laughs> well, what? I didn't understand that. Was it good? Uh, okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, um, well, I have never vacation. I oh, always work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, I, well, you know what, guys? I would, you know what? If you like what you do, perhaps you know that's not considered vacation, right? Because you know, have you heard the song, guys? The like, the, there is this song from the meme. I'm on vacation and every single day. Oh, because 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 I love my occupation, right? Something like that, something along those lines, right? So it's good, you know. So I I wouldn't say I'm on vacation, guys, because I get tired, you know. But I love my occupation. I, I really love doing this. So. So I have fun, you know, I have fun. I, I don't, I don't get stressed over my work, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work and, and I don't like doing presentations to be honest. I mean, I don't like creating the presentations too much because it's like, sometimes I, I'm too tired, but that's the only part that I, that I actually kind of don't like, but I like teaching, you know. <laughs> so so. Uh, in, in summary, you didn't uh, have vacation, right? <laughs> No, no, I did. I, I actually did. <laughs> I did. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. But no. I, it was very busy. No, <laughs> no, it was. Ah, okay. No, no, I, I, I mean, I had, I had, I mean, I had, um, I didn't have, you know, it, like my other, I didn't have vacation, I didn't have my vacation on uh, my other job, you know because I had to work the first days there. So I worked from Monday to Tuesday. So I worked two days and then I spent five days continuously on vacation from Wednesday to, well, up until today, right? So that, that was great. Um, but I couldn't go out much, go out much because I, I didn't want to be, be, because of the, uh, how many, um, you know, uh, how many policemen were outside and I just didn't want them to continuously stopping me, you know. So I, I, I spent most of my time home, but I got to sleep a lot. Uh, I did have to, to do homework, but uh, for my university. But I slept like 12 hours and I was like, Jesus Christ. I had never slept. I had, it's been, it had been a long time since I didn't sleep that much. You know? So I, I got to sleep a lot. And, uh, and I studied. I, well, I'm, I'm actually learning something new. Um, but yeah, you know, it was fun. I, I think, I think it was fun, you know. Anyways, guys, so I see that most of you are here now. Okay, we got 24 people. Thank you guys for joining. Before we, we get started, guys, okay, because today we have a, we have quite a few topics to, to talk about. But before we, do, we, we get started, let me ask you something. Guys, have you completed the platform? Have you at least completed section number three, the midterm, section number four? This week, guys, you need to finish, all right? You need to complete every single piece of, I mean, from the platform, okay? La Platano Forma, all right? So have you completed all of that, guys? Okay, who has not completed it? Are we, are we all good? Okay. I think. Yes, yes the of course. All right, it's not platform, guys. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's not Platano Forma. Platform, okay? Plat form not platform right <laughs> i i finished the platform platano form you're gonna kill me guys you're gonna kill me okay anyways okay all right so that's good guys so let's get down to 
business. Today, guys, we're going to talk about present perfect, okay? Now, what do you know about present perfect, guys? What do you think we use present perfect for? If you have gone through the videos, guys, you'll find out, well, you should know, guys, what we use present perfect for, right? Remember that you're supposed to watch the videos, guys. So what, what do we use it for? Perfect is when we use a theory has or has depending on the subject and the verb in participle. Well, yes, thank you, thank you. All right, that is that is actually the structure, right? So, but what do we use it for? I mean, that is the structure, right? Um, but what if I wanted to? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Uh, when when you, when you have actions that um. That uh, was in, in the uh, it was in in uh, what is it? starting in in the past so um, and se mantiene uh, uh, what do you no say Spanish so, I don't know that uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the action are uh, that uh, uh, finish in the uh, in the future. Right, so in 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 uh, near futures, that uh, that's the idea. <laughs> All right, okay, very good, guys, very good. Okay, so let me present, guys, and um, sure. tell me, hey, doctor, welcome back. Oh, hey. hey, you didn't come to the hello, last hello. class. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm. I'm yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I, you came. <laughs> okay. Right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Um, I, I, I know that present perfect. Uh, you using the indefinite time in the past. All right, that's a very complicated answer, but yeah, you're right. May I? All right. Yes, Elizabeth. Yes, go ahead. Um. I think that we use um, present perfect with when we are talking about experience up to the present. I beautiful. Think, I'm not sure. All right, okay. beautiful. All right, was that you, Elizabeth? Did, was it you talking just now? Who gave me that answer? Was that you, Elizabeth? <laughs> hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I was asking who gave me that answer. Was it you? All right. Hello, ¿Quién me dio hello. esa respuesta? That's what I'm asking you guys. Guys, can you hear me? Hello, guys. Hello. 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 Oh, oh. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Hear. Yes, teacher. Okay. Right. Sorry, guys. All right. So uh, I was just asking, guys, who gave me that answer? Who was the one who gave? Who, who was the one giving me that answer? That's what I'm asking, guys. Me, me, Elizabeth. Oh, okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, good job. All right, plus for Elizabeth, guys, okay? That is a very accurate okay, description, okay? That you. is one of its uses, guys, okay? Present perfect is related to experience, okay? All right, so when you think about present perfect, think about experience, all right? So you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna learn, you're gonna talk about experience. All right, so today's objective, guys. Caesar Adonai, help me read, please. Okay, okay. In, in this session, uh, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. Awesome, guys. So, all right. So we're gonna see present perfect and we're gonna have some practice, guys, okay? All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, well, the, the um, um, at this conversation, guys. And I want you to identify the present perfect sentences or questions that we have here. All right. Everybody, let's repeat. It's great to see you. It's great, great to see, see you. you. All right. Well, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans? Uh, have you been in New Orleans long? Very good. Okay, great. Now, one thing I want to point out here, all right, we use present perfect for experiences, yes, but it's not the only thing that we use present perfect for, okay? 
All right. Dr. Barrientos was right too, right? So indefinite time in the past, okay? So that, that's another thing, right? We're gonna see the uses guys later on, okay? All right, but first off, okay, let's identify, let's try to see if we can identify the uh, the first question or sentence here. Do we see any present perfect question or sentence so far, guys? Yes, have you have been, you in, been New in New Orleans, Orleans now? Uh, have you been in New Orleans? No, Orleans, Orleans, guys. Orleans, okay. New Orleans. Have yeah. you been in New Orleans long? Okay. Very good, guys. So we got the first one here. Thank you, right? It's good that you're identifying this. Question for you guys. Why am I not saying uh, do you have been in New Orleans long? Why am I using have? And why don't I have do before have? Uh, That's a question. Hilary? Why? Because have is the auxiliary. All right, mm -hmm. have is auxiliary, guys. Okay, so this right here is auxiliary, okay? Thank you. Marcela, welcome, Marcela. All right, teacher Marcela. All right. Welcome yeah. aboard. Nice, nice to see you again. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, so, nice okay. Me too. So, thank you. Thank you, Marcela. All right, so, um, so let's see. Uh, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. Everybody, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. Yes. Yes. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Very good. Do we have another, guys? <clears throat> Do we have another um, present perfect sentence or question here? What do you think? Have you been? Have you been? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you been to a jazz been club been yet? To a jazz club yet? Jazz, jazz club. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. I've already, I've already been to one. Everybody. Yeah. I've already been to one. I've, yeah. I've already I've been, been, been to one. one. I've already been to one. I've already. All right. Do we have another one here, guys? Um, do we yes. have another sentence or question here? Yes. I'm already. I've already been to one. one. Okay, so this is another case. So this is present perfect, present perfect. All right, we have another present perfect one here, right? Very good. So we have three so far. We have two questions and then we have one sentence, right? So uh, Jan says, oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already no, done that. Okay, no. do we have another one here, guys? No, 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 no. I already, I've already done, done that. Done that. Well, I've already done, done that. Okay, so we have another one here. Okay. Uh, have you reading that? Have you reading in a streetcar? Okay. Do we have another one here? Yes. yes. Have you reading in a streetcar? Yes. All right. Okay. Where do we have anyone? Do we, do we have any other here down here? <laughs> yes or no? Oh, no, not so, no. No, I think no. no, we don't, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Very good. Notice something, guys. What do they all have in common? Rebecca, Yvonne, what do you think? What do they have in common? They have... So what do you think, guys? Is there something they have in common? They have, have and have the protein past. Okay, very good, guys. So first off, guys, okay, we have a uh, let's let's break down, you know, let's break this down into pieces, right? All right. Uh, the verb, guys, is not in the past. This is in past participle. Be careful because it's not in the past, guys. It's past participle. We have past participle here. Um, have you been to a jazz? We have another past participle here. Now notice there you're, well, these guys are only using being, all right? But it's more than that. Uh, we'll have a riverboat. I've already done that. I've already done that, okay, here we have another one. Have you written? There is another one here, okay? Oh. So see guys, in present perfect, you are always going to use past participles. You're always gonna use what? Past all right you're always going to use past participles guys okay all right one other okay so what is another thing that we that they share in common what, what else do you see have the verb right. auxiliary how 
the auxiliary, okay? The auxiliary have, okay? Yes. Have you been to New Orleans, okay? I can't wait to show you the city. Have you, okay? So have another one here. I've, okay? Where is where is the, the auxiliary? Okay, so where is the auxiliary have in this sentence, guys? I've done, I've already done that. Where is it? Have, have, okay, have, okay, okay, I've, have, I've, have, I've, okay. I've, Okay, very good, guys, very good. I've already been to one, I've already, okay, very good, guys, okay. Super good, guys, okay, good job. All right, guys, so let's take a look at some examples, guys. And we're also gonna learn about already and yet, okay. Mm, who'd like to help me read, guys? Any, well, go ahead. So uh, let's take a look at the examples. Go ahead. Yes. Guys, can you hear me? Can I? Yes. Can I read? Yes, yes, Just please, please read. Yes, okay. Have you been to a Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has okay. she riding a street car? All of them or only one? No, that's that's it. I just just okay. one. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, guys. Notice that we have some words which are highlighted. Okay. The words that we have highlighted are the ones, you know, the two common factors among all questions and all sentences. And what are those two common factors, guys? We have have, right? And we have the verb. In what form, guys? What form of the verb is that? The past participle. Past All right, it is, it is a past participle, right? So have you been to a jazz club? Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several, right? So we can we can find them here too, okay? All right, no one is okay. Yes, okay, it, it, yes, you can find it there with that contractions and, and with contractions, right? And uh, thank you, Betty, and thank you, Gabriela. All right, so these guys, all of these are auxiliaries, right? All of these are past participles, right? Auxiliary, 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 past participle. I mean, auxiliary two and past participle, past participle, past participle, and past participle, okay? So now, guys, let me ask you something, all right? Um, so... Why are we using, guys, here, guys, why are we saying shis? Because it is. Because it has. It has. has, has, oh, has, has, has Very has. good, okay. So the auxiliary, guys, will change to has, guys, okay? Has, when it, when we're talking third person, okay? When we're talking third person, guys, we have to change that to uh, to third person, too. I mean, the, the verb changes to third person, too, right? Okay, and this is usually how you speak. Now, one tip, I'm going to give you one tip here, guys. When you write papers, like formal papers, you should not use contractions, okay? All right, you should write, uh, you should write everything down without contractions, unless you know you're, you're doing something informal, right? But when you speak, guys, in case when you, do, when you do speak, you have to use contractions. This, and this is actually most of the times. Okay, so have you been to a jazz club? Has she ridden a, a, in a street car? Has she called home lately? Have they eaten dinner yet? Notice that what happens to the auxiliary guys, okay? You're gonna find it in the beginning, okay? Now this is how we make, uh, this is how we, how we give uh, um, answers, all right? These are long answers, right? Now, I'm gonna teach you how to give, you know, long and, and, and short answers, okay? But let's take a look at the negative form first, okay? So what is the negative form? Um, na, 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 na. Uh, doctor, okay? All right, help me read the the answer for negatives. For negatives, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, have you been to a jazz club? No, I haven't been to one. Okay, no, I haven't been to one, okay? All right, so have you been to a jazz club? No, I haven't been to one, okay? All right, now, guys, we're not saying, no, I haven't been to a jazz club here because we already know that we're talking about 
a jazz club, right? So we can just refer you, we can just make a reference to the jazz club here. But I want you to notice something, guys. Okay, what happens here, guys? What is the difference between this and this? The negative form. All right, the particle not, guys, okay? We're using the particle not. No, I have not been there, okay? You can say, I have, right? Sorry. You can say, I have not, right? I have not been there, okay? All right, so this is the contractive form, right? Simple enough. All right, guys, so, so what do we do, guys? Okay, uh -huh. what if, mm -hmm. go ahead. But uh, we can say it, uh, to, for example, I've not been. Yeah, you can say I've not been. Um, that's not American though. Okay. I have, yeah, people in America don't. I, I, I don't recall people using it like that. You can say that. I mean, it is correct. It is grammatically correct, but people don't use it like that though. Okay. Um, so anyhow, so, this is a structure, guys. Write it down, guys, because you will have some exercises, okay? You, you will have some practice, okay? All right. So every time, guys, that we talk in present perfect, you are going to use have or has, okay? This is the first component. What are we going to use, guys? Yeah, have or, uh, have or, have or has. has. Okay, we're going to use the first component, which is have or have. has, okay? Very good. <laughs> Then, okay, then we need what? What is this? Past participle. The past participle verb, okay? Plus there. All right, it is the verb in past participle, okay? The verb in the, fir in the third form, okay? All right, and next step, guys, we have the complement, okay? Okay, the complement, I'm sorry, the complement um, will be the last one, right? So um, now it says here, guys, that, you know, the verb have or has depends on the type of, it says the person we're talking about, it should say pronoun, guys. Okay, the type of pronoun or noun that we're talking about. If we're, if we're talking in third person, okay, I, we, use, we need to use has. If we're talking in any other person that is not third person, guys, okay, we'll use will. I mean, you use uh, have, okay. Anyways. Let's take a look at the first example here. She has worked in the bank for five years. So here, guys, um, where do we have the two pieces of the structure here? Dr. Barrientos, where can we find the two pieces of the structure for present perfect here? It has worked. Has worked, okay. Very good, okay. Uh, we've, what about this one, guys? We have had. What's 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 going on there? We have had. I cannot see. Had. This this one right here. Irregular. Irregular. Oh. Okay. All right. No, this is correct, guys. I mean, we have had the same car for for ten years, right? So, anyways. Okay. All right. So, anyways, guys. Okay. So these are other the other two examples. Okay. All right, so when do we use it, guys? So when do we use present perfect for, right? The first, the first, um, the first usage, guys, okay? Jose Isaias, help me read. So what do we use it for? Only one. Yeah, I just needed to read this part right here. Okay. Uh, when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, Unfinished, they repeat unfinished. Unfinished. Yes. Uh, number one, I have worked hard this week. I have worked hard this week. Okay, I just stop there. Okay, stop there. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, guys, okay, unfinished temporary period of time. Okay, so a temporary period of time, guys. Okay, so when I say, guys, I have worked hard this week. Am I referring, guys, to a specific period of time? Or you don't know? Do you know, guys? We, we don't know. You don't know, okay? So the answer is that you don't know, guys, okay? That's why it is not specific, okay? All right? 
Um, so that's the first, you know, that's the first usage, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the second example, Gabriela. How about this? Yes. Okay, teacher. It has rained a lot this rained. year. Rained. Repeat rained. Rained. Yes. Rained. Okay, okay. In, in this case, it has rained, rained a lot this year. It's it has correct, rained teacher? a lot this year. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Kate. You. Thank you. Thank All you. right. So now, guys, do we know the specific time of uh, the rain? How, how uh, do we know the specific time of uh, the rain on, on, of, on, on how long the rain um, lasted for? Do we know that? Sure. Tell me. All right, you're breaking up, man. I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. You're breaking up. Uh, Jose, Carlos, I think okay. you're going to. Guys, is it me or you're having issues understanding what he's saying, too? No, no, I, I hear you, teacher, but. Okay, I, I can't hear you, Jose Carlos Barrientos, because your connection is breaking up, okay? Um, so we'll wait until you finish, until your connection is better, and you can ask me again, okay? Um, yeah, but I, I have a question, for example, in, in the... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think... Okay. <laughs> guys, is it, is it my connection, or are you guys, are you guys having issues with, uh, with what he's saying, too? Guys, what I'm asking, so yo guys, el de la mala conexión, o todo el mundo tiene problemas. Every, every, the... because hey. it's raining in, in a lot of place. Oh, okay, right. That's what I was asking. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, guys, okay. No specific. Okay. Time. No specific period, guys. Okay. Or, I mean, or no specific time. Okay. Right. We're, we're talking about something that was temporary okay when it rains guys okay every time that you think about present perfect guys think about the rain does the rain last forever guys does 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 it rain forever yes or no does the rain last forever yes or no no it teacher. doesn't right teacher right the camiseta does again no teacher teacher Sorry. right thank you teacher all right all right, guys. Okay, very good. We say, guys, we haven't seen her today. Okay, okay. All right, you're not specifying. You know, you're not specifying the specific time at which you didn't see her. Okay, so that's use number one, guys. Yes, okay, so, so this is number one. Yes, go ahead. Yes, but if, if, for example, if I say we didn't see her at 10 p.m., is that correct? Yeah, you can say we. Now wait. We didn't, yeah, you can say we didn't, we didn't see her, or you can say we didn't at, see at her. At 10 a.m., at 10 a.m.? You can say we didn't see her at 10 a.m. You can say that, yes, but that is not present perfect, though. That is simple but, past. Oh, but that's a, uh, yeah, yeah, but I try to understand, because yes. this is a, a specific time. Yes, yes, exactly. Because I just did. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Okay, very good, very good. So, okay, guys, so uh, you also, we also use it for what, guys? What is the... Usage number two. Jose, help me read. Repeat. Well, go ahead. I think somebody else wanted to participate. Go ahead. Repeat actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. Very good. Repeated actions, okay? Not repeat actions. Repeated. Repeated yeah. actions. Very good. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past, guys. Okay. So, guys, basically, you know, if somebody, let's think about this like this, guys, okay? Think about your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, right? The L, L ex toxic or toxic, okay? All right? Hey, it's Monday. We have to talk about toxicos or toxicos, right? So anyways, guys, so think about it, okay? Do, do they still have an effect in your present? Todavía afecta tu presente, yes or no? Okay? If, uh, I cannot. Mm, 
I'm, I'm, I'm looking all, at you. All my, all my, huh? All my life. All your life, okay, very good. All, all my life. <laughs> that's that's very I, sad. Move on. But that is not. I'm, uh, I'm uh, realistic. Present perfect, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So you have to, you have to call. Okay. So so tonight, guys, you have to call your your ex toxic or toxic and tell him, hey babe, you're still in my present perfect. Okay. So yes, I'm in present perfect. Okay. Uh, because uh, you baby. still affect my present. For example, for example, uh, I I've been I've been uh, love love him. No. I've been in love with him. You mean? Uh, Is that what you wanted to say? My toxic. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I've been in love. Okay. Now, okay. I want you to notice something here, guys. Okay. So first off, repeated actions. Okay. In an as in a, in a, all right, there is a spelling mistake here, guys, because this is incorrect. In a specific period of time between the present and the past, okay? They have they have seen that film six times, okay? All right, now, if you think about, you know, you're toxic or toxic, okay? How many times do you, did you break up? If you broke up, how many times? All right, tell me, guys. All right, give me one example. Girls or guys, okay? Ladies or, and gentlemen, okay? How many times have you broken up with someone? Be honest. Never. Never? Oh my God. Your your relationships has been have been very sane then. Okay. If nobody, I got how many people do I have today? I have 26 people here, guys. So you guys are telling me that you have never you have never had a couple whom you had uh, broken up many times with. Nunca han tenido una pareja con quien han roto varias veces. That's what you're telling me. No, yes. wow, no. guys, I'm gonna give an applause because that's wow, okay, right? That's crazy. I, I, I've been in a relationship, you know, I've been in a relationship with we had well, I've only been in one relationship with where, 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 where we broke up like six times or five times, you know, and then we went back together and so on and so forth, anyway. So, but okay, so you guys are incredible, okay, but when that happens, you know, that is a repeated action. In that case, guys, I wouldn't be able to use I wouldn't be able to use present perfect because it doesn't affect my present, right? All right, that was a long time ago, so it's in the past. So, but let's say that you you are you are still with that person, okay? So you have broken up six times with that person, but she or he is still your couple, okay? So now that has an effect in the present. It was repeated a repeated action in the past, okay? So you can say, so if I say something like this, guys, okay? So if I say, you know. Let's let's have an example here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's use Elizabeth, okay? So Elizabeth, right, has broken up with his. Uh, let's let's use the great boyfriend, okay? Boyfriend or husband? I don't know. Right? Elizabeth has broken up with his boyfriend six times, okay? <laughs> All right. And we can say, you know, already, okay? Now here, guys, this has an effect in the present because she's still, right? let's, 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 let's use this as an example, okay? She is still with her boyfriend, okay? Now, guys, if I say, you know, she's still with her boyfriend, is this a present, guys? Am I talking about the present here? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes, right? Yes. yes, okay. So, because she's still with her boyfriend, okay, we can say Elizabeth has broken up with her boyfriend six times already. Now, all right, when did this happen, guys? When did the action of breaking up six times happen? In the past. In the, in the, it happened in the past, right? We don't know when, but we know that it happened in the past, right? But, you yes, know, she still has a boyfriend, so she, this still affects her present. Now, what about, let's, let's, uh, let's think about my case, right? So let's say I had that one girlfriend and, and we are not together anymore, okay? So I am not with that girl anymore, all right? It's been, I don't know, seven years, right? So let's say I'm not with that girl anymore, guys. So can I say, guys, can, I, can you say David, you know, has broken up? with his girlfriend 
uh, six times already. Can I say this, yes or no? Remember, okay? Let's ask the question, okay? Is David still with her, yes or no? No. No, right, so I am not, okay? All right, so in this case, guys, if you know this information, okay? If you know this information, can I say this? Is this correct, yes or no? No, because you broke in the past and not continue this action. Exactly, guys. If I say David has broken up with his girlfriend six times already, it means that, that she's still with me, that, that it still affects my present. Got it? And so I cannot say that, guys, because it doesn't affect my present. Got it? So do you understand, guys? So yeah. if, we, if we talk in present perfect here, guys, that's why it's called present perfect, right? Because it still has an effect in the present. The action started in the past, guys, but it still has an effect in the present, okay? So guys, um, I'm gonna get you together and you're gonna give me, all right? I want everybody, guys, to have 10 examples. You're gonna work in couples and you're gonna give me 10 examples, guys, in your notebook, okay? You're gonna write down 10 examples, guys, of present perfect sentences, not questions, okay? Sentences, guys. With, okay, I'm going to take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. Um, uh, of unfinished temporary periods of times or repeated actions uh, in the past that affect the present, okay? Got it? All right. Is it clear, guys, what we're going to do? Uh -huh. All right. So I'm going to send the image to the WhatsApp group, guys, so we can get started. All righty. All right, guys. Hold your horses. Oh, you already sent that. I like it. You are you guys are very proficient. All right, guys. So uh, let's go, guys. I'm gonna sign the groups. All right, let's go, guys. Hello. Hello, Betty and Hi. Rebecca and David. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Lilia. Hello. Okay, please start. Um, I have one okay. sentence. Okay. Um, I lived in this house for twenty-three years. Okay, perfect. Uh, I I have I have visited uh, my family on vacation. Oh, that's good. And I worked in this vacation. And you ten sentences. No, the teacher. What's your teacher. teacher? Teacher. Sorry, Camisa. <laughs> I forget it. That's all right. That's all right. Um, yeah. I'm used to that. That's my, yes. my new nickname from now on, Camisetas, right? Is <laughs> yes. best, uh, David. <laughs> David. Oh, I like David. <laughs> Okay. Or you girls, um, me. All right. So work. We keep working. Right. Do you have any questions? Yes. Uh, if we have to do twenty sentences, uh, ten. She ten. 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 Uh, between, ten. It's it's five and five if you want. Right. I mean, you're gonna uh, have one. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna share the answers. All right. Okay. okay. Um. Five. Do you have any question, girls? No question, teacher. No question. Thank you. Okay. 
Do you have any questions, guys? Okay. We're good? Yeah. Um, and I have problem with the paris the present participle of verbs. Not the present participles, you mean the past participles. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Past the past participle. Yes, yes, yeah. past participle. Yeah. So what is your question regarding that? Well, I have the problem when change the verb. I don't sure when You're not sure. Um, when change the verb or when use. All right. So you have to change it. Well, uh, is that the question? You don't know how to change it. You have to follow the structure. That's that's how you know when to change it. I don't. I am not. I'm, I think that's not the question that you wanted to ask me. I, I asked the. I asked to her that the 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 um, uh, past participle verb uh, it's a, a list or verb, right? So uh, with uh, specifically change, right? She's asking me when to use them. Okay, you can use it after the verb has or have. Okay. All right, so this I understood is when, this is when that you use the, it. I understood that the problem is not with the extra structure, right? So that the problem is with the change in the in the specifically verb. So you for example, know, so you don't know, you don't know, you don't know the you're saying that you don't know the word. Uh, well, the two, for example, um she have problem with the for example for the verb to be uh, we use been. In, in the past participle. So uh, yes. that change is the problem uh, for Anna. Okay. Okay, guys, I think what you're asking, okay, so what you have to do, guys, is memorize them. <laughs> oh, okay, uh -huh. yeah, right. yeah. 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 Ask right. that. If it, is in yeah. if it is irregular, you have to memorize them. If it is regular, you just add ED, all right? But that's, that's what it is. You have to memorize them. You have to know regular versus irregular verbs. Right. When it's I okay. I asked to her that the uh, when is a regular verb is like in past, right? Yes, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same form. Okay. Yes. You're good, guys. You're okay. Good. Okay. Hello, okay. so, girls. You have any questions? Working. You good? <laughs> uh, with director. All right. With director today, no sé. <laughs> director today, what do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you asking me? Uh, she has working with director. You mean with the principal? You're talking about el director de una escuela, for example. Is that uh, what you guys? That's the principal. Uh, no, principal. The, uh, principal. Yes, that's a principal. Como director. If you're talking about a school, yes. Okay. Yeah, if you're talking about movies, you say director, right? Or director. In the right? college? Uh, that yeah, now no 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 no. Um, that would be the headmaster. The academy? That if it is a university, that's the headmaster or or I. Uh, it has a different name. The um, oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Google Translator. Okay, now uh, <laughs> no Spanish. Okay, no Spanish. All right. <laughs> Don't be like that. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that would be the word in in in, in Spanish. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I forgot what do you call it. Is well, I, I would say just the head the head of the university, but it has a different name. I I forgot. Um, Google it. Okay, that's what you can do. Google. <laughs> okay. Well, no. Uh, she has working. With the extra... She has worked, not working. Worked. Uh, work. Worked. Work. Work. Yeah, remember that I have to use, guys, the um, the past participle, right? The past participle form of verbs. So 
work worked okay now this is the past participle if it is a regular verb okay but if it is not a regular verb you have to use you know whatever irregular form of the verb in third person you have okay so okay all right keep at it girls you you guys you're doing good you're doing good okay um Oops, I really checked on you. Uh, are you good? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. it's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Just came to, to catch a glimpse of you. All right. Okay. See you around. How are you doing, guys? All good? Yes. All right. Let me know if you need any help, okay? Verbs. How are you doing, girls? All good? Yes, because, because when you um, have some... Okay, it's um David. Tell me. I I have I I have a example. I sent my example. Uh, I Miriam, you I can use. Now having grieving that is present perfect progressive. That is not present perfect. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, right. In this uh let me. Let me a, a moment, please. All right. This. Uh, I have suffered for my boyfriend for a long time. <laughs> well, yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's technically correct, but you should change that for I have suffered because of my boyfriend would be better. But I mean, that's okay too. You know. Okay. Uh, the prepositions should be a little. It should be different. Okay, but. Because he's the motive, okay, he's the, you know, the reason of your suffering. All right. <laughs> oh, that's too sad. <laughs> that's very sad. Anna, it's an example. I, uh, yo no sufro por él. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. That's okay. I mean, it's okay, right? I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Any question, girl? All good? Um, no, I think that no. <laughs> you good? Okay. Thank good. you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Hello. Hello, um, guys. You good? I have a question. Sure. For example, when you uh, when you, uh, for example, uh, when we can speak, uh, no, we, we can say, for example, uh, we have, so, I don't know, uh, use two, uh, two times the verb have in the, in the same sentence. Uh, the first time like uh, um, auxiliary and uh, after bear. that, uh, like a bear. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. You you are one hundred percent right. Uh, for example, um... so the first time as an auxiliary, which uh -huh. you can only be have or has, and then the second time as the past participle of the verb have. Okay, that in this case, uh, for example, he has had a girlfriend since uh, a girlfriend last year. A girlfriend since uh, the last year. Since last year. Last year. Since it's last, correct. not the last. Since last year. Since last year. Yes, okay, that, that would be correct. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Very, very good. Good point. job, guys. We're going to go back now. So what, what channel is that, doctor? No, that's not the doctor, right? That's Roberto. What channel is that, Roberto? I like it, Tooncast. That was my preferred. What? Tooncast? What is that? Tooncast. Tooncast. How old are you? Uh, and I'm asking not not because you, you know you watch cartoons or not, <laughs> because it's been a long time since I don't watch TV, man. A long time. I'm talking about years. 
I have not watched TV since I have no idea. Uh, I think I stopped watching TV. Really? Yeah, but I have not the, watched TV. But, but TV why, why in, a, in, in a TV, o sea, yeah, in, on a but TV. Your cell phone, in your cell phone, uh, you watch other things, right? Yeah, I mean, why, I watch videos, movies, you know, when I have time, right? Well, you, to be honest, I, I don't even, oh my God, I feel so bad. I should be more normal, I guess. No, I don't have time, guys. I, I mean, I wish I, I like movies, you know. But the thing is that, I don't know, man, I've, uh, it's funny because. A channel I, of television, of TV. Yeah, I, for, first of all, okay, I hate TCS, okay? I always hated TCS, so I never watched them. I don't like novelas. I don't like football. Uh, I just like Canal C sometimes, you know, Channel 6, right? Series, <laughs> series, and the series. Some, yeah, I, I, I mean, I do. The thing is that it's hard for me to find some something that catches my eye, you know? Es difícil para mí encontrar algo que me, que me absorba, que me, que me, que me gusta like tanto. Que, yes, okay. So I show you, uh, I'll give you an example, okay? Um, my sister has like Disney Plus, HBO Plus, Netflix, um, um amazon prime you know so i have all of that available i don't watch anything because from all the streaming yes so i don't watch anything because i don't know first of all i don't know what to watch and and secondly if i start watching something i get bored like i was i started watching king kong and i was like i was like okay i i'm bored you know me, me you, so i stopped watching you play video games i do yeah i i do play video games when i have to so it's here you know I prefer playing video games than watching that. Or I watch, yes. um, I have some, I like documentaries. I'm like, I'm slowly becoming a boomer, you know? Discovery Discovery the thing, guys, is that I, I used to like Discovery Channel back in the days, you know? Back in the days, there was a okay, History okay. Channel, That's Discovery amazing. was good, you know? It was good. It, now it's it's all, it's all. Do, uh, you have, do you have a girlfriend? No, no, no. No, I don't have a girlfriend anymore. Hey, that, that would be a good reason for not watching TV, right? Because <laughs> you're too busy. I know. Um, no, but it's not because of that, guys. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, maybe if I had, right, I would be now. I would be going out, you know? Like, I like going out. Oh, that's another thing. I like maybe going out too much. Maybe broken with times with a real girlfriend, right? They, they, David has what? <laughs> In the, I work. In, the, in the present uh, in present perfect okay perfect present. all right we're going off topic here guys okay enough enough about not watching tv i just wanted to mention you know i don't know what's what's good on tv so if you have recommendations send them in the group okay all right if you have like really good tv shows or or or, or movies you know that i could watch on netflix or amazon prime or hbo plus you know let me know I like the Matrix. I like I like the Matrix. By the way, I, I like movies like such as the Matrix. I like uh, Interstellar. If if you have something like Interstellar, guys, I'm 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 absorbed. Okay, I love that movie. Me encanta Interstellar, guys. I think it's the best movie ever. I don't know, but I love the cartoons. I love cartoons. So uh, all all cartoons. So that's I, I think, my favorite. You know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I haven't watched cartoons for a long time. Not because I don't like them. It's just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So, um, guys, you were a uh, good example. So I checked on all of you guys um, during the breakout session. Now there's something I wanted to point out here. A lot of you were asking me two things. Okay. I'm um, sorry. I'm just gonna take a uh, just a um, couple of few minutes, guys, from your time. But here, guys. Okay, guys. We, first, you have these guys. All right, this or this, okay? This is this is an auxiliary, okay? Okay? And then, guys, you have the past participle. So some of you are asking me about this, you know? Why is it have had? Because this right now, right here, guys, is this an auxiliary, yes or no? No, it's a no, verb. It's a verb. This is a verb, okay? It's a verb. This is actually, in fact, guys, okay, this is the main verb okay all right verb. in past participle okay verb, verb. verb in pp okay now guys <laughs> the other question that you were asking me is hey you know what do i do to learn <laughs> past participles okay the answer guys is 
What is the answer? You have to memorize. Now you only have to memorize them, guys. Okay. I want you so look like Google this, guys. Okay. You have to memorize them if they are irregular verbs. Okay. If they're regular, guys, if they're regular, they're easy because they follow a rule. For example, guys. <laughs> okay. For example, when I say, you know, uh, the verb work, is it regular or is it irregular? That is regular. regular. All right. Regular. Work is regular, guys. Okay. Regular. Okay. So what do you do with this verb, guys? Okay. So the present is work, the past is worked, and the past participle is work too. All right. So this is the past, right? And this is the past participle. Okay. PP, right? So anyways, okay. So see, this is easy, guys, because they're, they're actually the same. Okay. Or the same. But here, guys, okay, what if you see the uh, the verb C, guys? Is this irregular or regular? Regular. Irregular, Friendly. right? So, Irregular. all right, so the past is saw, so. right? Saw, so, not so, saw, so. saw. So. Just saw, so, okay? And the past participle is seen. So, what do I do? All right, so what do I do, David, to memorize, to, to learn this, okay? Now, these ones, guys, you have to memorize them. There is no other way, okay? Just just them constantly, you know, and they'll just get in in your head over time, all right? With that being said, guys, that is pretty much it, guys. Do you have any questions, any comments, any complaints, anything, guys, that you need from me? Or are we good? Are we good? All right, guys. So anyways, it's, it's good to see you guys. I'm really gonna miss this class, guys. I'm gonna tell you guys if we're gonna finish the class on Wednesday or Thursday, wait for my message, because we are one day ahead. Estamos un día adelantados. ¿Se acuerdan que venimos un viernes que no teníamos que venir a clase? Porque yo me equivoqué, pensé que teníamos que reponer. So, no. All right? Nos hemos adelantado un día. So, no sé si vamos a terminar la clase el miércoles o el jueves. Yo les aviso. Esperen mi mensaje. Um, but it's good to see you guys. I really, I'm really, really, really going to miss this class, guys. You guys are very funny. I love that. Okay? All right? So, it's fun working with you guys. All right? Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.